Hello guys, all of you, welcome to my channel, Journey to the World of Fairy Tales. Here is this week's tale, The Three Little Pigs. So let's get started right away. Once upon a time, in the forest of a town, there were three little pigs and their mother who lived in this house that you see behind me. And the piglets lived very happily with their mother. These are three brothers. One of them, these three siblings, was the eldest. The other one was the middle and the other piglet was the eldest. Since their mother lived alone with the children, she tried to teach them new things every day. And one day, now that the children have grown up, their mother called them to her side. Three little pigs came to their mother and their mother gave them new advice. Children, welcome. Today is another very important day. Today is the day to make a very important decision about your future. You three have grown so much. It's time to stand on your own feet now. My thought is this. Now, all three of you leave this house and establish your own houses. Start living your own lives. Let's see what's going to happen. Our folks were stunned at first, but later they accepted this idea and decided to set out. But their mother gave one last piece of advice before they left. Look guys, whatever you do, whatever job you do, do it with love and in the best way of possible. Do not rush. A lot of time for what you are going to do happen. Whatever you do, do your best. Because after all, you get the best after what you do. You will get your labor's reward. And the mother sent them to where? <laughs> on the road. And children, of course, our folks are on their way. Where are they headed? Into the forest. They will find a vacant lot. And what will the three little pigs do there? They will build a new home for themselves. As soon as the smallest pig arrives, he immediately looks around thinking what he can do. And what does he see there? He sees a pile of straw. He thinks about and he says, Hmm, how can I build a house? I can make a house out of straw. Hmm, I, it will be very easy to make a straw house. This would be very comfortable and, and I can play games for the rest of the times. I will. It would be great. Then he takes the straw and starts building the house. He tries works and continues to build the house. Meanwhile, his other brother uses different methods. Here he takes these trees that you behind me and he decides to build himself some new houses from these trees. Anyway, guys, this younger sibling of makes such a house, okay? Look, he builds a straw house and he says, yes, I'm done. Let's see what they will do. <laughs> mm, my brother is still busy building a house. I'm done. Now I can play games. He actually starts playing the games because he has finished his work. What are the other siblings doing? Do you know what the middle sibling does? That's how he picks and cuts trees so he spends a little more time building a house. The brother, the one who built the straw house, finished it in one day. The middle sibling puts a little more effort and builds a house of wood. He builds a house of wood. Well, he builds a house of wood to be stronger. Let's see how is his house. Yes, how is his house? Oh, that's it. A house made of boards. Oh, I was very tired. It took two, three days to build, but my house was very solid, wonderful. Now I can play with my little brother. And he immediately goes to him. The two brothers begin to play. Well, do you know what the other eldest brother Piggy does? Of course, he works very hard. It takes exactly four or five days for him to build his house. And why? Because he thinks... What did my mother tell me? If you're going to do something, do your best. Maybe it will take some time. I will spend some time, but it better build the strongest house. And of course, what does this brother do? He makes such a house. What is his house made of? He built his house out of brick. He uses cements and stuff. And he finished building his house, but as I said, he built his house in four, four days, a week or so. And what were the other 
brothers doing in the meantime, of course, they were playing games. The brothers began to yell at them. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm building my house. We're playing games for a week. With this, you've been busy. But I want it to be a solid house. <laughs> and, and children, they all finished building these houses. Of course, the oldest sibling is the one who finished it. But he really worked hard. And I think his home is the strongest one. Well, guys, the days are passing by. Everyone is very happy. But in the meantime, what happens? As in every fairy tale, we have a bad character in this fairy tale too, of course. Who is he? The wolf. Yes, we have a wolf. The wolf will come soon to see if all these pigs' houses are intact. Come on, then let's the wolf come. Yes, guys, this wolf sneaks up and sees three houses. Which house should we start looking at? Let's think right away. Which house is the easiest to look at? What do you think? Of course, it's true. House, right? The house is very easy to break down, but our youngest piggy didn't pay much attention to it. Of course, we have nothing to do. <laughs> the wolf comes and knocks on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Uh, who's that? Who's that? Our piggy asks. And the wolf begins to shout from the outside. Open the door. It's me. Open the door. But the pig who owns the straw will answer. <laughs> you cannot come into my house. And the wolf replies. Hmm. I'll blow and puff. I'll come right in and raise your house to the ground. Piggy, wow, you cannot do that. My house is very solid. Meanwhile, the wolf knows something like this. Kids, do you know how the house becomes? Oh, <gasps> look, whoa. The house is a terrible state. The house becomes very bad and shattered. I mean, he runs away from there. Whose house does he go to? Of course, he goes to the house made of wood. Anyway, guys, Piggy comes and knocks on his brother's door. Brother, brother, the, the wolf has come. The wolf has come. Destroyed my house. Don't worry. My house is very solid. I made it out of wood. As soon as the wolf comes and knocks on the door, open the door. It's me. Open. Open right away or I demolish your house. <laughs> My house is very solid. Nothing will happen to me. <laughs> I blow and puff. I go right in and raise this house of yours. Oh, ow. Yes, children. The wolf suddenly blows. Suddenly, what happens? Oh, oh, this... The wooden house is gone too. It means not solid. The wolf owls. The brother gets scared and they run away. So, which house do they go to? Of course, the eldest brother's one. Brother, brother, do you know what happened? The wolf destroyed both of our houses. What are we going to do? The eldest brother say, Don't be afraid, guys. You don't have to be afraid because this house is very solid. Really? Are you sure? Meanwhile, the wolf comes and knocks on the door. They open the door. I'm here or I'll go in. <gasps> you cannot get anywhere. This house is very solid. I made it very solid. Then the wolf begins to speak. <gasps> I love and puff. I go right in the raise the house, the ground in guys. What's the wolf starts to do? Of course, blowing. And once again. Nothing happens, nothing happens to the house. The house is solid. The wolf could see the pigs are very happy. Nothing would happen to the house. Meanwhile, how shall I get in? How shall I enter? And then he suddenly looks up and sees the chimney. I go through the chimney. I go through the chimney and raise the house again and eat the piglets. <clears throat> okay, it goes right up to the chimney when it comes to the chimney. Since the eldest brother is very smart, he immediately realized that the wolf is coming and what does he do? You know, yes, guys, the piggy has such a fireplace in his house and he immediately lights a fire like this in his fireplace. 
And when the lights are fired, it starts to get hot there. Another idea immediately comes to this mind. He puts special water or such in a coldish and the coldish and starts bubbling like this. And it will fall down chimney into the colder and what will the happen and just said i said the wolf enters the chimney and falls into the water i'm fine i'm fine help 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 i'm fire i'm on fire help. and of course the wolf goes crazy and that's the wolf's end <laughs> well what happened next in this way these little piglets are freed from the trouble then they hug each other. They're also very happy to help each other. They need to tell this their mother immediately. They immediately set out from this mother house, arriving at their mother house, and they say, what happened? And children, as you can imagine, the mother is shocked to hear what happened. And what does she do right away? Of course, she hugs her children first. Then she says that what they was very really right. That's it. It's very important for three, three brothers to help to each other. Also, you know what she says? <laughs> Didn't I tell you if you work for something, if you work for it for a long time, in the end, your profit will be much bigger and much better. Look, your brother did so. After that, you should imitate your brother. And so these three pigs continue to live very happily. Here we come to the end of this week's fairy tale. If you like it please don't forget to subscribe see you next week in a new fairy tale goodbye